Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll show you an uh, alternative way to input uh, data from Excel. Uh, the standard way or the modern way is that we go to new list and then we have the possibility either to create a, a blank list from Excel and uh, for an existing list. Um, but there's also a possibility not from the SharePoint side, but from the Excel side to export um, a list. Uh, it's not as good, but uh, it's not bad. So let's go back to Excel. I have um, a table here, which has first name, last name, sales and date. Let's change the date. Oh, remove the date. It's not looking that good. And what we'll do is I'll mark it and go to insert and create a table. You see that the, it looks a bit uh, different, but the functionality of a table is very powerful. Um, now, if I mark the, the table, I'll have a table design. And under external table data, I have export. And I can export the table to a SharePoint list. So here I can actually um, paste the site uh, URL where I want the, the list to, to be created and I can give it a name. Let's call it uh, David. And the description doesn't matter. I'll click next in the wizard. It shows me how it identifies the, the data types. It's not possible to change it currently. Uh, so this is the limitation, but afterwards in the SharePoint test, we can do it. So all we need to do is actually click finish. And because this list is very small, I can click here and I can see that the list has been um, created. And uh, if I need to change any data type, type for instance, if the the num if the cells I want to change to be text, I can change it. Or if I want to change the the last name to be a choice, then it's also possible. So um, this is an alternative way, and actually, it it's possible if you have. Um, a very large list. If you try to do it through the site, it will uh, let you upload maybe between 5,000 and 10,000. Uh, through the Excel export, you can upload uh, uh, even 50,000 or 60,000. Now, taking in consideration that that there's, you might have a problem of performance, so it's not that recommended. Um, in the next episode, I'll also show you how to connect a list uh, through Access. So follow my channel and subscribe and, uh, and uh, see you and have a good day. Goodbye.